Productions. I don't remember your name, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, this is like my go-to Halloween vibe tracks. I feel like I'm gonna get an ad here pretty soon. Adam. Nice to formally know your name. So <clears throat> this is my second actual stream. The first time it's going to actually work because the first time I streamed, my uh, whole system crashed like an hour in. Um, so now I'm good to go. I got a whole new setup. And uh, we're going to start at the uh, spot that I left off at in the game within Scary. So, let's do it. Yeah, technology's the worst. The absolute worst. All right, cool. So I'm like, I don't know, like 15 minutes of play into this game. And if you haven't played it or didn't see the last failed stream i'm like on this island uh where there's some weird sketchy shit going stuff going on um let's see there's a bunch of notes so i don't know what kind of context this is going to give just i'm in an i'm on an island in a weird mansion and there's spooky spooky stuff going on and i just walked into this room using a key for the spider lock and then this is written on the wall i am going to grab you all from behind and rip your faces off. And then there's this guy right here. And I just heard a sound. Boop, beep, boop. What's that? A large square magnetic key. Okay, I think I know what this goes to. So there was this other thing right here. There's just like a screening room and it's all security camera footage. And there's a lady standing right there in that room I'm about to walk into. And she is not there. When I go into the room, she should be right here, and instead we have these mannequins. Okay, so here's where the magnetic keys go. We got one of four. Is that all I got in there? Uh, yeah, that's all I got. This is called Within Scary. S K E R R Y. Um. 
found it because I played another game by the same developer called Sweet 776, which was terrifying. Uh, highly recommend that game. But this game is it's, it's kind of in the same vein. It's a little more uh, large scale, I guess. Very PT inspired. She is one of the mannequins, but yeah. Okay, uh, I'm guessing I have to go all the way back. Because all those doors are locked. Let me, I'm not paying attention here. Piece of paper. This is very strange. One by one, it looks like everyone is getting infected with some sort of virus. Their speech changes, behavioral patterns change. It's like they aren't the same person they were yesterday. Well, that checks out with the weirdos I've been seeing. Okay, so there's these red locks. There's like two or three of those. I can't get through them. Um, this was a video showing a hallway where there was a spooky guy standing there. That's that room, and then this is locked. Okay, just getting my bearings so that you guys know where I am. This is where I found the videotape where I watched the guy in the hallway upstairs. And then this is where I kind of started out. This is the very first section. So if you didn't see that first stream, I was wandering around here for like forever. It was terrible. What did I get again? Oh yeah, nothing. shouldn't whistle into a microphone. Well, thanks for uh, joining up with this stream, bros. Bros and broettes. Um, I promise I am working on short films, scripts. Um, analog horror is in the future, as well as traditional traditional short films um, like the previous ones I've shot in the past like Lonely Night stuff like that um, but I wanted to try streaming because I wanted to get in touch with you guys yeah I wanted to I wanted to try streaming um, just to hear for, was that there before is that a new one um, get in touch with some of you guys who watch the content that I put out and um, talk about spooky stuff. So if, if you got any discussions you want to have about horror movies, analog horror, spooky stuff, anything, we can talk. I, I'm not the best gamer, but I, I can multitask. I can definitely stop paying attention to the game I'm playing and just talk if we want. Okay, any tips on what I'm supposed to be doing right now? What the heck? So there's this whole upstairs section. I'm pretty sure I cleared all that. That's why I haven't gone back up there. Circling around, making sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, man. All right, I'll try upstairs. So these are all numbered. I'm still at one. So that one's four. This one was zero. I think I cleared all the rooms up here. Oh yeah, let me know about that the theory for why. Uh, oh, um, why analog horror has become such a big thing recently? Retro tech has become a big thing in horror. Ah, here we go. Okay, that's new. But there's nothing in here.
feel like I got real bad stink face when I game. Oh, here we go. Yes! Found it. All right, I made a breakthrough. So, no, I can't crouch. But the fog, Adam, you said... I was a kid in the 80s and a teen in the 90s. I can remember that the 60s were a big influence on the mid-90s. Here in the UK, oh, British school. Uh, the band Oasis, regular, yeah. Yeah, there was a big garage rock revival in the late, mid-90s, I guess. Yeah, through the early 2000s. 80s came back in 2010, so it was like 30 years. Yeah, it's 30-year cycle. I, I agree, yeah. I think it is like millennials looking back and younger Gen Z looking back because like analog horror was sort of popularized by Chris Staub, who's or younger uh, Gen X rather, not Gen Z. Uh, Chris Straub, who's a younger Gen X dude, made uh, Local 58. So he definitely grew up in the VHS era, uh, as did, you know, squarely millennial peoples like myself. Um, and I do just feel a lot of nostalgia for it. I love it. I love all that stuff. Yeah, 30 year cycles. I agree with that with music for sure, 100%. All right. So what do we got? We got, oh, bolt cutters. Um, I'm waiting for another emo revival when it comes to music. Although I guess we're probably past that point where it should have happened. America. Let's see what, oh, okay. So I can cut those locks. guessing yeah oh yeah that's another magnet key we got a toilet can't flush it Let me just make sure I can't crouch like you're saying no no crouch Scene core, if that kind of stuff comes back. There's some stuff in that like MySpacey scene genre that is a lot of fun if you go back and listen to it. I'll try and think of some examples. And yeah, Adam, that does oh snap. Um those uh Panasonics, the, or those VHS cameras to take the whole tape. We definitely had one of those in the house. That wasn't like the home camera I used when I was a kid. We had the mini uh, DV tapes, VHS-C, I think. But uh, I know what you're talking about. Those go all the way back to the late 70s, I believe. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting spooked now. Should have streamed during the uh, eclipse. Ooh, a camera. What am I supposed to do with this? Left click, capture photos, right click, night vision. I already got flashlight there. Strong bolt cutters. Okay, so click, capture photo. Okay. And that goes down. Okay. Somebody in there. Somebody's in there. I will save you. 
there's not really a story as far as the main character to this game. Uh, he just kind of is on this island exploring. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saving people or not. Everyone is killing each other. Out of nowhere, knives are swinging. People are fighting. It's complete chaos. I've seen several take their own lives, too. Please, God, save us now. May the cross of the Lord stay by my side. <clears throat> Another magnet. I need... What I got? I need two of those. When should I take a picture? Uh oh, what's my chat? Public safety videos like that, Adam, are always strange. I see you. I take a picture of that. missing here y'all I can't jump I can't crouch I see you and that fell still can't get in there Oh, the, the subreddit, <clears throat> the, oh. we refuse to do what you want. We don't want to be here. We don't want to be here. We just want to party, baby. Um, the uh, Analog Core subreddit that I started is going nowhere. I like that it's there, though, and I'll just always keep it there. Um, there's like people post there every once in a while and I still think that like what people post there is higher quality than what goes on the main 
analog horror subreddit um like the stuff you posted adam and then um gloomy texan is great um if you guys haven't seen his stuff that's the name of the channel on youtube the, the gloomy texan it's super unsettling and he really does a good job um sourcing out some really interesting found footage stuff like literally footage that he has found um yeah check him out um Otherwise, the main analog horror subreddit is terrible. It's it's really poorly run. <sighs> yeah, gloomy Texan. Oh, what was that? Is that a dead body? Yeah, that sub. Uh, it's just being spammed right now with. Uh, memes of <sighs> that analog horror called the boiled one I think that's what it's called um, which was okay I mean it was good um, the meme of it is out of control though it was good though <laughs> One more thingy. So what did I get? I got another key to the second floor gate. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Moving right along. See, I uh, started this stream and I was like, I'm gonna play this. Then I'm gonna play. Uh, what else did I say? Lancaster Leak or uh, uh, Building 71. But I'm so slow at playing games. We'll see. Finish this. Here we go. Gate number two. Yeah, Doctor Nowhere. The designs are great. Jesus, that PSA. I think um, stuff like that, uh, Cypher, it's like, that's all the fuel for like Tim and Eric. Like, oh, Why did I take my key hands off the keys? Was I supposed to run? What the hell is wrong with this house? Nothing about this place is normal, I'll say. Kids don't bounce back. crazy I didn't read that I'm sorry is the stream still running for you guys I swear I will, I have to. Because on my phone, the stream just is stuck on an ad. Um, all good? Okay, cool. I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to try and exit out of my chat window here, but I'm still going. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I didn't read any of those text screens. Pretty sure the uh, developer is not English first language, so a lot of the plot stuff is a little confusing. There's these clocks everywhere, they're all running backwards, and it reminds me of uh, One Missed Call, Takashi Mike. Okay, so, where am I? I went through the gate, no, I'm still through the gate. So she just spooked me and ran away. Yeah, should I not do ads? 
Um, I, I don't watch a ton of live streaming, so I'm not sure if ads are like from on 20. Surreal broadcast. Is that just like found stuff as well? I've heard that title. Appreciate it, Adam. Have I, I haven't been here, have I? Dude, my brain is so scrambled when I play games. I'll get better though. Oh, I should probably be taking pictures of uh, the ghosts, huh? The two of us for life. That's sweet. Nothing in here. Oh, okay. It's just straight analog horror. Maybe I have seen that then. Those earlier ones all kind of had similar titles. So yeah, Analog Archives rules. Uh, and Event Tide had some good stuff too. Another tape. And my last magnet key. We did it. Whoa! And a basalt pillar. An obsidian spire. Classic sign of the occult. There is a bomb in the attic. The bomb is, a, is connected to all the gas canisters throughout the house. I am ready to light this place. To the, all right, let's blow it up. Light this place to the ground. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's the only way. It must be. I leave my cross behind. If I fail, please take it and hold it by your side. It will protect you dearly. I hope I get that cross. Because I need protection. What? <laughs> what do I do here? Oh, do I just line these up, you think? Yeah, probably. Okay. With that, there we go. I'm a genius. Small red box containing a secret ingredient. Okay, so this game definitely has shades of a series of true events of recent. An island run by the elites where there are people kept in cages and all sorts of sordid things happen. Yeah, that was a cool puzzle. Yeah. Um, so what did I get? I got a small red box with a secret ingredient. That wasn't there. Was it? Maybe it was. Let me just get a shot of my basalt pyramid pillar. Okay. And again, I'm getting confused as to where I have been and where I have not been there. been there. Okay. I've not been downstairs this way. So I have not used night vision. Is that open? I already went through there. Okay. There we go. Another key. Oh,
Third gate. Wherever that is. Have I seen the third gate yet? And the crowbar. Yeah, I saw the third gate. I think. I can probably get through something like that. Oh, I might have to come back in through there. Smash that piece of wood. So I'm back in this main section. And this is the fourth gate. <clears throat> okay. Poopy. Whack the creatures with it. Yeah. I would love to do some whacking right now. And that sounded dirty. I'm kind of just backtracking. Uh, 20. What's with the 20? Mannequins do freak me out, and uh, I am working on a project involving mannequins. Mannequins! They freak you out? What if he's just like, nah, just asking. Pacino shows up. <laughs> She's got a great ass. Okay, so where is the third gate? Please show me the third gate. Okay, there's one spot I have not re-explored, I believe. Over here. Let's go back to back through the spooky spooky basement <laughs> no reaction to the uncanny valley that's interesting I've never heard that before. Ah, here we go, my crowbar. Do your thing, yes! We're back outside, okay. So I started outside, out here, and went into the mansion, um, starting kind of from a dock on a little dinghy. Oh no! Really, there's no... plot point from that. Alright, I always, when I play games, I don't like getting too far in one direction before backtracking. Let's see, see, I can go back this way. Should I go that way? Or into the woods? What do y'all think? The courtyard or into the woods? Super unalived. Take a look at the woods again. Woods? Woods seems like, yeah, the, the hanging body's probably an indication. Always the woods. All right. Good enough for me. Okay, so this is backtracking where I was. This is where I started. So this is probably the third gate. Yep. But I'll give you all some context if you have not seen this game. I started in this area here, which is just a trail through these woods that leads back to the water where I had a little boat. The boat floated away with somebody on it. I went in this room, there was a key, and then I got knocked out and I was suddenly inside of the mansion. 
So I could not get through this earlier. Let's go through gate three. Probably super weird to Is that Al Pacino? This is just like a part in Sweet 776. <laughs> well, I almost got unalived. Now I can't go through here? Oh, okay, okay. Jesus. Something is haunting us, something paranormal. It is, pos oh, cool. it is possessing us one by one. I don't know how it got here, but I think I know why. We deserve this. I like that. The time has come. I mixed all four ingredients together. I mixed it, oh, there's four. I mixed it all with heat as close to the cemetery as possible. Remember, this is how you bake a cake, Mika. Who, Mika? And I'm guessing this is Eastern European. Hence Mika. <laughs> so late with the camera. Yeah, it's like the Blair Witch House. I love that movie. Yeah, it's a teddy bear. I didn't try and do anything with it. Um, let's see. Gotta pick. Is that a teddy bear or are you just pissed to see me? Bro, where do I go, bruh? Bruh! Do you guys play games like this? Because I often do by myself and it's like torture. It's so scary. Is that a dog? We are treated horribly here, I'll say. These monsters would lock us up in cages, have us serve as their maid, massage them, and, and so much more. I, I am afraid to even note it here. Hmm. <clears throat> Pull this open, dog. Let me in, Holmes. Let me in, homie. Those are cribs. Don't look behind me. In here? Oh, it's open. Cool. The pod. Can you hear 
Oh, my, there's also your homie at the beginning who like dips out. <clears throat> He's back. Simple lock picks. Don't carry too many, otherwise you'll look suspicious. Don't carry too many. That's weird. I don't know what they mean by that. This is a, probably an Eastern European thing. <laughs> Dude, I always take my hands off the keys, and then I can't run away. All right, now I'm lost. Is this the room I just came out of? Yeah, okay. Lock pick. Okay, cool. Now we're opening doors, baby. That was a juicy sound. I got another tape. I collected all the cassettes, apparently. Got another clock. Here the clock. So also at the beginning there was a, a I think a four digit combination that had different colors on it and the colors of the clocks are corresponding um, to that combo but <clears throat> none of the clocks have stopped to give me a time for a number. I just got a request to turn my mic volume up. Thank you Rob. How's that sound? It is a little, I need to get like one of those arms that all the cool kids have. How many clocks has this been? Um, probably five, four or five. Holy shit, are you okay? A girl named Mika took the boat from you. She said she, she had to get the hell out of there. It's okay though, I'm almost there. I, I think I should be at the docks in, in a couple of minutes, okay? Man, I'm so happy I finally reached you. There's no way I'm making it out of here. Not alive. EMF reader. Oh yeah, we're getting ghost adventures in this piece. Uh, I was told if this thing beeps in any, in any... Okay. Stay away from that area. So is it just like running? It'll just beep? If I click on it, I can't use it. Okay, and there's a, there, okay, there was a blue, was it a blue 20 or was it a red 20? Now we got our 10. On that other door, there was a 20 and I think it was in blue or maybe the door was just blue. <laughs> I didn't take my keys off that time, but I couldn't run. My hands off the keys. My keys off. All right. It's really like a full body reaction when I get got. When they get me, I get got. <sighs> <clears throat> Captured, okay, I think I've maybe stumbled into a, one of the many endings the other game had, the Sweet 776 had many endings. All right, so what, I got lock picks, been using those. Crowbar, use that. EMF reader. That didn't even work. She snuck up on me. Bro. All right, we're back outside. Go check out. Hurry, come meet me at the docks, okay? okay? I'm gonna go to the dock, even though I know I'm gonna have to go back to the house, <clears throat> to that courtyard. Actually, I'm 
sorry. I can't come. Yeah, I got this on Steam. I don't want to disrupt you all. You should go spend some time with your family. We're all waiting for you in the master bedroom. Oh no, my homie. I'm got... sorry, but no one is coming. Goodbye. Homie got possessed. bedroom. That's really spooky. I love that. This is kind of like a large-scale Blair Witch as far as the story goes, and I really like that. Um. <laughs> I'm swimming. Darth Vader. Um. Yeah, if Blair Witch, though, you know, they're going in the woods, they're investigating the woods, that rock location in, in the abandoned house, the witch house. Here, it's like, take that, but, you know, it's a mansion on an island. Um, everything's abandoned, though, and there's weird stuff. Everyone gets possessed. They tell you to go to the master bedroom instead of standing in the corner. I don't know. It's a weird theory, I guess. where I came from. I like the new Blair Witch too. I thought it was great. Um, yeah, Blair Witch 2. I know people that worked on Blair Witch 2. <clears throat> but yeah, that movie is not the same. Okay, we got a pool. Yeah, the hanging corpse. All right, I'm back in there. See, now I always feel like I got to explore all this stuff first. Okay, I can open all the doors. This is why I never get anywhere in longer games, though, because I'm always like, oh, well, I can't go that direction because I haven't seen what's going on in the other direction. That's why these short games are... My shit. Radio still on. <sighs> Gotta be getting close to the end because I think all the doors are open now. So he told me to go to the master bedroom. I don't even know. Oh, there's more tapes I gotta watch too. I'm going to go watch the tapes first. Yeah, I like exploring as well. And that's why, yeah, like longer games, I just get overwhelmed and I'm like unable to finish any of them. Oh! Okay, that guy was there already, though. That was the first kind of corpse you see. Sets. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let's go see. This guy just kind of moved, but it was on a tape, so that didn't just happen. It's pre recorded. 
It was pre-recorded. You can't fool me. And I don't know what hallway she was in <clears throat> on that tape. This is closed now. So, oh no, it's a, no, it's an illusion. So back upstairs, I guess, or this gate. Locked still. Yeah, I need a fourth key. I think their eyes are blank. Yeah, I'll say in um, Sweet 776, their other game, um, the ghost design was, that just scared me, I accidentally took a picture. The ghost design in Sweet 776 was a bit more interesting. Very unsettling, very uncanny valley, so Adam would not be scared. <laughs> All right, Adam. Yeah, keep in touch. Have a good night. A good night on the Thames. Sorry. I was guessing it was the room where the shower was, but... EMF reader has not gone off. I feel like I'm way off right now. There's somewhere I gotta be that I'm not at. I just went through all these, all these dang areas. Okay, it's a red 20 on a blue door. So we got a 20 and a 10. Hey. Oh. Okay, this is the master bedroom. I know the arrow was pointing that way, but I'm going this way. I also haven't used that box of ingredients. Whoa. Very cool. All right, now I gotta go the other direction though. I can't go up there until I've seen what's <clears throat> this way. Black pointy statue, uh, basalt, basalt uh, tower, obsidian pyramid. Uh oh. I don't. 
don't think I should take the gun. Okay. Do I take the gun? My EMF is going crazy. Uh, do I take the gun or do I go up those stairs? I have a feeling if I take the gun, that's game over. And that would suck. There is a bomb somewhere. This is the EMF going off, though. Oh, my stream link went bad. There we go, I'm back. Always take the gun. I'm doing it. Oh no, it's going too crazy. I gotta go up the stairs first. I'm sorry, Rob. I'm too scaled. Okay. That looks awesome. I just grabbed that whole ladder. I picked the wrong direction, didn't I? Dang. Ah, I know that's not the end to end, but I don't want to play that whole thing again right now. Yeah, ending one. Damn. What did I do wrong? I should have taken the gun, I guess. Missed a couple notes. So I should have taken the gun. That would have at least got me to ending two. I'll play it again one day. But we'll move on. <clears throat> that was fun. Just gonna get some audio from the game. I'm switching over though. Yeah, that was scary. Um, I definitely recommend their games, this developer. Within Scary, I'll put it in the chat. Yeah, so if y'all didn't, anyone watching didn't didn't see, um, I did an interview, my first interview ever with a local filmmaker to my city, a guy named Christopher Elston. Um, he's making a feature film right now and uh, also started a YouTube channel. He posted a, his first short film on there that's just this super fun, goopy, uh, creature feature little thing just like two minutes long um, but check out that interview Christopher J. Elston is his channel um, we talked about all things horror alright so I said I would play building 71 so let's do that this is called the building 71 incident uh oh it failed to load No! All right, we'll move on to something else then. That didn't work. We'll do 
The Lancaster leak. Sorry, Building 71 incident. I'll do that next time. Should have tested it. Yeah, cool game. Hello. <laughs> what? Taylor's here. Christopher, oh, I'll put that in the chat. Good question. Give me just a second after. I also, uh, I posted a community post <clears throat> with a link to his channel, but. And there we go. All right, let me get the settings here. Always forget what my resolution is. There it is. Screen volume. <laughs> Following tape and many others were recorded by recovered by FBI. Something, something, something. Valerie Bardot leaving without a trace. She suddenly went missing at the end of her internship in Lancaster, California. <laughs> Foul play is suspected. So long as Valerie is missing these tapes, it will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance, and this will be your last. Okay, sorry, I'm missing all this. Um. <clears throat> I'm way behind. Picture one. Um, now I'm doing here on something, something. Bradley Kaufman, Brady Kaufman, a 59 year old male visit to the Brown State Park unaccompanied their subject's behavior during his visit was unusual. He intermittently started recording at various times. Medical records revealed no history of mental health concerns. Subsequently, on August 26th, the subject was reported as missing. His body was discovered on August 30th, and the recovered footage from his recording device will now be presented in chronological order, accompanied by annotations. Okay. FBI, wh whoa. Very analog. I hope this doesn't poop my computer. The subject initiated, initiated recording. The reason for the sudden recording activity is unknown. The subject would occasionally zoom in on certain objects. Zoom. Very slow zoom. And zoom. This is crazy looking. So this is cool because it definitely seems like this is a very high resolution render um, and they just put some cool VHS effects over it because you get close to things and there's actually a lot of detail below all the gobbledygook. Subject turned right and went to the bathroom to shower. I think I need to take a shower.
This problem has previously belonged to natives and developed for campers and hikers. Okay. So it'll be like a <clears throat> skinwalker situation probably. Thank you for that recap. Okay, I can't go that way. That's good, see? That's me trying to explore and I gotta get to the showers. disorienting to look at. Oh. That looks like a shower station. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yep. What if I want the flashlight still? Ooh, hopefully this doesn't look too crazy on the stream. Oh, it looks all right. That's about what I'm seeing. Wow. The subject stops filming and takes a shower. It is estimated 10 minutes elapsed before the subject something, 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 something does go a little too fast. This is inside the shower, I see. Suddenly reminded me of, oh, I got an ad. Suddenly reminded me of the woods and doors. Yeah, oh yeah. You know that, so that wood sequence in Doors Part 3, um, I originally shot so much more footage of just running through the woods and I had it in my head I was like we're gonna have a sequence where you know Sarah's running through the woods and it's just gonna be so long that it's gonna be terrifying it's just gonna be like five whole minutes of just running through the woods and crunching leaves and branches and stuff like that and it's gonna be so scary and I cut that together and I was like this is just repetitive and uh so, cut it down to what you see in Doors Part 3. Okay, now I go this way. No, I get back. Did I accomplish what I needed? Do there? I don't think I have like I can't like manipulate anything, so I'm clicking mad buttons right now. Can't see nothing. Alright. is like Doris when she's walking down the path.
yeah. Yeah, those showers at campsites are not fun. Okay, I guess I go back to the car. Return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject's tent. Neither campground records nor witnesses or white male profile while this person was standing here. Remains unknown. It's all unknown, actively pursued. Okay, spooky. Largest jump of time happens at this point with an estimated estimate of one to two hours time elapsed. Recording resumes with the subject two miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject started the hike is not relevant to the Bureau's involvement. Once again, we got some <clears throat> um, not the best English. Okay, so I'm on a hiking trail now. Unknown or censored. Very analog horror. I bet we got a skinwalker. tracks. I should have looked up something about this game before playing it. I don't know if like it's just going to be this the whole time. This was a free one. Are the Wendigos the, those are the ones that are like a deer, deer skull face thing. Talk about a walking simulator. So if the last game was the last game was Blair, Blair Witch, this is Skinamarink. Same page, Cypher. One second, y'all. Gotta blow my nose.
pretty sure there's a way I can uh, <clears throat> cut to commercial, basically, right, for breaks, but I don't know how to do anything. Sorry about that. Wasn't Skinnamarink about California or Canada? Oh, it's Canadian. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, oop, dead deer. Okay, we got something. Deceased deer was killed by entity. Subject encountered dis diseased deer attacked by entity. Was it diseased or was it attacked? The film abruptly ends after subject detects entity and vicinity. Subject exhibits distress and flees off trail. Entity pursues subject. And can Why can't we play that? Subject resumes filming four minutes after pause. This marks the final pause. Subject is audible for the first time, displaying emotions of fear. It's running as multiple entities. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm hitting an invisible wall. I, I'm guessing I just run away from the sounds. I'll be honest, I don't find Wendigo's scary. This is gonna like terrify me now. Take the left, it's on my right. Okay. Are those my footsteps or no, there's two sets of footsteps. Oh my good! Subject struggles against entity but gets away. The camera is severely damaged. <laughs> Subject drops flashlight and camera. It a shadow backdrop. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Blood creeps up. A little bit loud. <laughs> Brady Kaufman's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. The footage ends in the camera something something. Subjects remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. Little personal items remained intact. The public was not told was told it was an abnormal bear attack. Hmm. Subjects film was the first footage captured of S. Oh, is this an SCP situation? Ultimately, by <clears throat> the subjects footage, uh, the bureau. The Bureau, uh, finding in special operation to contain entity something, 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 something. Name Wendigo. Risk severe. Containability three. <clears throat> Wendigos are creatures originated from Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region. The malevolent supernatural beings bring terror to the forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing persons cases. Tall and a Emaciated looking Wendigo's bear antlers and possess insatiable appetite for human flesh. According to the recent intelligence, there has been a notable resurgence of the Wendigo, and their geographical distribution has now expanded southward towards Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian CSIS to take immediate and decisive action to halt 
the expansion of the species and eventual eradication. Eradication! It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public uninformed of the blip, 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 unnecessary panic, something, something. And that's the end. Well, the story doesn't end here. And they wrote a creepypasta. Huh. It's actually a interesting title for the creepypasta. Lancaster Relief Crisis at Call Center. Interesting. Now that I think about it, it's Wendigo Analog Horror. I think there has been a Wendigo Analog Horror. Um, yeah, Skinwalkers and Wendigos, though, are very similar, so I might just be thinking of Skinwalkers. Um, I just don't find them very scary because they're just kind of an animal and like i don't know a lot of creature horror is like that for me if it's just like the brain of an animal as opposed to like a hyper intelligent being of some kind like very supernatural uh sort of element of like you know the intelligence of a demon or something like that is a lot more interesting to me than just like an animal that just wants to eat you there's very f there's a couple exceptions like uh alien xenomorph is pretty much just like a crazy crazy panther or something but um there's enough going on around alien around the xenomorph that it's still interesting um the engineers and all that you have that sort of mystery behind who created them which makes it a little more scary to me um but you know that game it looked cool visually it was cool um should be deleting these as i go there's one called start survey that i downloaded i can't remember if i played it let me look up survey horror game yeah i did play that one let's see Spiders I like. That's another exception to me. Um, the movie The Mist. Um, those are kind of different because they're like Lovecraftian spiders. But those spiders are terrifying. I got to watch the Surreal Broadcast because I don't remember spiders in an analog horror. All right, I downloaded a real goofy looking one. We can try. screen this somehow. Keep losing my mouse. Oops. This is called Welcome to Kitty Cars.
set up. Okay, I guess stuff just happens at random. They got me back.
popped. Missing no. Drive is the movie where Ryan Gosling drives. He's a real human being. This way. Where shall we find? This is exactly like. still streaming.
Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. Kitty cart, 24-7! Something has to happen. Something red. Something has to happen. This has to end, so now... I'm gonna make sure I'm going exactly the direction it says. Tell me to drive straight into a wall. Wall. Now this reminds me of a creepy pasta I listened to one time where someone was trapped in a never-ending parking garage. Uh, no! They popped my tires! Kitty, why? Kitty! Finish the race! Cart. That, there's my desktop. Don't look. Just shut off just like that. What did Kitty do? Kitty got too full of himself. Kitty had to go. All right, how long we've we been going? It's been a good while. Almost two hours. Let me see if I got another short game. I'll hit the two hour mark. What is this? Something in the well. Oh, is this a demo? Eh, doesn't look particularly short. Five to ten minutes. All right, let's do it. Let's do it.
don't know what that is. An MLP Grimdark? Am I... Out of the loop? What is this resolution, bro? This is something in the well. All right, this is more my speed than Kitty 64, although that was a cool ending. Kitty 64 didn't let us down in the end of the day. Oh, good doggy. Not going out there, there's something out there, I guess. Do I have, no, I have a battery, okay. No idea what I'm supposed to do. Doggy wants to go out. Dog is gone. I'm gonna run out of battery, aren't I? Yeah. This is very within scary. That was a good game, huh? I, li I like that developer. I'll get another game by them. Uh oh. something in the well. I know, not the doggy. Yeah, I just hang out in my house with night vision goggles. Ooh, spooky. I like that. Hang out in your house with night vision goggles on. Like the Step Brothers. This is like a <clears throat> Paranormal Activity 7, whatever that newest one was. Uh-oh.
Um, okay, I'm not trapped. Oh! No bodies were ever found. Police discovered camcorder footage on 2107-83, but the image of the tape rendered it useless. The footage was never released to the public. Inspired by the infamous Hathaway tapes. Huh. I'll have to check out the Hathaway tapes. Oh, well, that was cool. Nice and simple and very spooky. Um... I'll vet the games a little more next time. That's what I can improve on, I think. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. Um, I'm going to try and figure out other interesting things to do on stream than gaming. Um, so talking to people just about, maybe not interviews, but like just having discussions with some people that I can find who might be interested. Um, probably maybe some, like, just watch some short horror films and uh, analog horror and stuff and things like that. I'm not sure how that works with uh, copyright though, because I know I don't mind if people react to my stuff, but I know some creators are um, sensitive about that, so we'll see. Um, but more games. I'll vet stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll find some cool games and, and play those in the future, but thanks for watching, guys and uh, gals, and uh, see you next time. This was successful. We made it through a stream. All right, y'all.